Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me for my review of A Meme Warrior at the Borderline, episode 22, Fugitives. This episode picks up with Alexia and Amu on the run after escaping the peace talks last episode, and the North Americans are in hot pursuit. So it looks like this episode is going to be a complete filler and waste of time. Perfect. Uh, there's some various cutaways to other characters throughout the episode, and they're kind of really reminding me that the other A Meme pilots are really just relegated to scrubs now. We do get some interactions between some of the different characters in the NJ NJCO that were originally on different sides, which was interesting, but nothing, you know, amazing or, or vital to the plot. Oh, good. Now Alexi and Amu are foraging and camping in the woods, way to derail this episode. They do, do take the opportunity to recap how Walker has been pulling the strings on a lot of events that have been happening, you know, over the course of the season. We have a brief aside to the North American brain trust here, so it looks like Walker and German have their own plan, and then Walker let Amu and Alexi go so that they would have a legitimate reason to invade. So we have kind of three villain groups. We have the North American group led by, effectively, by Walker's dad, then Walker, who's working with German to support his dad, but kind of in secret, and then finally German, who on his own is just sort of like this evil warmonger guy. Alexi and Amu continue to be pursued, and eventually a battle breaks out between the two sides. Xi'an does get an opportunity to save the day in her upgraded Amame that's packing enough missiles to make Troa Barton blush. Also, why isn't her AI using that Italian personality anymore? Do they just give up on that? Either way, she is quickly outshined when Amu joins the battle. Uh, oops, Masaki, one of the scrub good guys, gets too much character development early in the episode, so it looks like he's going to have to die. I'm kind of disappointed for not seeing that one coming, and... Basically, Walker and his dad use this big battle and Alexi and Amu's eventual escape as an excuse to, you know, go invade the NJCO and fight them some more as if they needed some political excuse to do that. This episode wasn't bad, but ultimately seemed like a waste of time this late in the game and really derailed the momentum of the last few episodes as it didn't really further the plot. It seems more like the Blu-ray exclusive OVA episode that fills in the blanks between episodes. Um, this one is going to get a major skip from me, you know, five out of ten. The battle was cool. They did the usual thing where they have someone, in this case Walker, analyzing the battle and the various tactics being used. And I think the show wanted me to be more upset that M Masaki died than I am. Honestly, I didn't even know his name until this episode. And I did like that there was some plot development earlier in the episode with Masaki, that the scrubs are kind of serious enough about the NJCO and the partnership, that they're willing to die to save their former enemies, but the death just kind of fell flat for me. I think they could have killed someone more impactful if they wanted to show the horrors of war. Um, on the bright side, the new Amames look cool, and they've been keeping Kiba out of the battle for a few episodes lately, so I'm looking forward to his return, um, and then I'm sure he'll quickly be outshined by Amu. Anyway, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate a like or subscribe, and if you didn't, tell me about it in the comments. I do anime reviews on Mondays and figure reviews on Wednesdays and Fridays. Thanks so much, and keep collecting.